Morning guys, um, just got to the gym, it's five past seven, the gym isn't even open yet and uh, I've got to weigh in, check what my weight is, just woke up so I'm pretty tired but filming an ab session so it's going to be interesting, let's see what the weight is. Second, wait for it to come on. 193 pounds exactly. Body fat's coming down, muscles going up. Water is up as well. Good results. Well, it's been a while since I've done an instructional video, but we're here at the gym. Uh, it's nice and early, so time to get down to work. Today we're going to be working the abs. All right, so it's time to get down to business. Now, generally, when I train my abs. I always try and work with the lower portion first and then try and focus more on the upper portion second just because if I don't stimulate the lower portion first when I go to do my top side of my abs um, I generally don't feel it as much okay I won't be able to get a good contraction in my lower portion or stimulate my lower portion after I've done my upper portion as well one of the biggest common misconceptions there is out there is that you do, you can separate between your lower and your upper abs, okay? You can't, they're all one connected muscle. You've got the linear elbow obviously separating which gives the six or sometimes eight effect in your abs. Um, but they're actually all one muscle, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're stimulating more of the lower portion to begin with because then when you move on to the upper portion, you've worked everything rather than the other way around, okay? The other thing then I like to do is get the obliques in. Okay, I'll finish with like a static hold. Um, just love to get start some planks in, some ab wheel rollouts. I generally go uh, weighted first and then finish with body weight after, just so I can get a little bit of extra workout and feel like I'm burning out my muscles. I train my abs like I train any other muscle group. I will go weighted, I will go 12, 8, 10. 15 reps depending on what phase I'm in with regards to my training because I think it's still a muscle You can still train it exactly the same way. Okay, the biggest focus you're going to see today from me is my breathing technique if I was to Do this for 50 times I'm not really going to feel it. Whereas if I contract Breathe and then squeeze you can see everything's contracting here. Okay, rather than just this Everything's really squeezing in nice and tight and getting a good contraction, okay? So the biggest emphasis on today is breathing technique, all right? I will be going through it as we're going along, but that's the main focus from today. Six weeks out from a photo shoot, I've still got a little bit of work to do, a little bit of dieting left, but I've weighed in this morning 193 pounds. I'm feeling really pleased with that way, um, with that weighing. I, I think losing half a pound to a pound a week is perfect for me anything more than that and I could be burning some muscle and I don't want to be doing that I want to be keeping as much muscle as I possibly can all right guys let's get down to it right let's get down to business then shall we so I'm going with some hanging knee tucks first now briefly you'll see that I have got some ankle weights on just because I'm adding a little bit of a load to this they don't need to be heavy weights they don't need to be dumbbells you go what works for you, what's progressive for you, and what works the muscle for you. So my focus is always on breathing out, as you can tell by my face. I'm really breathing out hard as I come up, squeezing at the top, and coming down as controlled as possible. You always want to make sure that you're not swinging in this move. You, you will get a little bit of a swing because you are hanging freely, but you're trying to just refrain from moving as much as possible. I think I was just doing a little bit of a ab flex on here um, before getting in. Um, with this move for me personally I always focus on just timing rather than anything else. I don't want to be forcing it. I'm just trying to get my knees up as high as I can going back down nice and controlled. I've been quite blessed recently because the gym is allowing me to do a lot more videoing, a lot more filming. I did get in the gym really early for this video. I think I was in the gym at just after seven o'clock, so an hour before the gym actually opened. 
Next we're going to some Oh, name in this exercise, weighted reverse crunches with a rope. There we go. That's my naming of this exercise. Um, once again, focus on breathing out, crunching down. It doesn't need to be a massive move, um, so you don't have to worry about going all the way back up to the top so you're out straight. Just do notice that I'm not pulling the weight down with my hands and my arms. I'm keeping them fixed next to the side of my head and allowing my body to do the work, so my abs my core that's moving the weight not my arms okay that's got to be the focus on this one if you're still concentrating on your breathing breathing out before you move down really focus on squeezing when you get to the bottom and then bringing the weight on back up nice and controlled as well over the last few weeks i have been dieting for a photo shoot in five and a half weeks so i'm doing pretty well body's coming in nice and tight I've um, got a little bit of work to do, so I am going to be looking at dropping my calories a little bit more over the next few weeks. Um, just to try and... Just, I'd rather come in a little bit flatter and then build up on the last week rather than having to scurry around and try and have to work a lot harder to get where I need to be. So I've moved on to some cable wood chops. Now this is slightly higher than level. Um, I always find that when I'm pulling down I feel it a little bit more. And once again, focus on breathing out, contracting the sides, and then back in. I'm roughly going around 10 to 12 reps on all these exercises with my weighted stuff. I, I do hit it like I work a normal muscle, so I try and do um, supersets. I do circuits as well, just to try and get a little bit of extra work in the muscle. Uh, just to overload it a little bit more. 12, 12 reps usually I'm failing. And I'm starting to use other muscle groups, so my shoulders or my arms, rather than my core. And this is where I need to be focusing on just my breathing, just my technique. And then when I failed, I'm done. I don't need to do any more. Now, I am going to be showing you a little bit of breathing technique in a moment when I move on to my decline crunches. So I will be staying quiet throughout this video just to give you guys a chance to see my breathing. So I hope you could see there, um, making sure I breathe out when I'm coming up, breathing in when I'm going back down. This just helps me to get a really good squeeze and a good contraction in my abs. Um, I am body weight now, so I've done all my weighted work. I'm going to body weight and I'm just trying to fatigue the muscles just a little bit more. We just focus on getting a good squeeze, making sure that my abs are contracting. On the decline crunches, I was going for... 10 to 15 reps just trying to force it as many as i can but not lose form that's the main focus on this main emphasis is keeping my form throughout straight from there i went on to some toe touches but i didn't move my, my arms out the way i didn't want them to be in the well i'd rather you guys see that my abs are contracting my core is staying nice and tight and everything's working in that area just played around with a few different angles as well um, just making sure i breathe out when i come up squeeze nice and tight and I'm nice and controlled coming back down once again it doesn't need to be a lot of reps it doesn't need to be a high volume it doesn't need to be fast movements throwing your body around I'm really just staying nice and controlled breathing out squeezing that muscle when I get to the top and then coming on back down nice and controlled and every emphasis on your abs every emphasis on your biceps, triceps, chest, shoulders, legs, it's all about contraction, it's about time under tension, it's about developing that mind-muscle connection and that's what it's really your main emphasis should be on, okay, just really able to squeeze and contract that muscle, make sure you're working it nice and strong rather than just throwing your body around and not feeling anything at all, okay. Every single time I've done this workout, I've had serious DOMS in my abs, obliques, just generally in my core area. I love getting 
to work my abs. Um, I don't do it as much as I should. I'm not one of these guys that trains them every day. Um, I still like to live a life and I still like to enjoy my time rather than spending all of it in the gym. And just fin finishing with some ab wheel rollouts, it just takes a plank to the whole new level. Um, it just really forces and stresses like the core to work, puts a different angle, different stress on the body, and just really helps fatigue the muscles. This was perfect for me. Um, guys, this is my ab workout. If you have any questions, please go ahead and post them underneath. Subscribe to the channel because I really do appreciate you sticking around and watching my feedback. And I'll speak to you guys real soon with a new workout. Okay guys, there you have it. Andrew, how are you? Abs done. Um, started with weighted, then finished with body weight. Finished with an ab wheel rollout as well. Really felt it this morning. Um, a little bit different to how I would normally go because I normally do it in a circuit, but focusing one exercise at a time, really put a little, little, put a little bit more emphasis on the muscle that I was trying to work. All right, see you later guys.